Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls for the Game Boy Advance. That's right guys, I actually got back to where I was in this game. It actually took me pretty much a day um, going in and out of uh, playing this, but it actually didn't take as long as I would have thought, so I guess no hiatus for me, yay! So, uh, where the hell did I leave off? Um, I can't even remember anymore. Oh yeah! Uh, we just went to the ice cavern, and I grinded like no other, and I told you guys I was going to grind through that uh, evil eye exploit. Well, um, yeah, I might have grinded a little overboard. Just a little. But yeah, you can see I pretty much like went up like 20-something levels. I mean, hey, what can I do, you know? I mean, the HP for the warrior... And kind of for white mages, well, the HP for warriors maxed out, and it's pretty close for most of the characters. MP for the black mages almost uh, all the way up as well. So um, yeah, I, I, I grinded a lot, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. You know, it wasn't too long of a grind session, and even the the amount of money is maxed out. Um, it, you can't get any higher than that, so it, it sucks on that aspect. They can't get any higher, but you should not ever run out ever again. You shouldn't. I don't. I mean, I don't know if you ever will, but yeah. So that's enough of that, guys. Uh, I just uh, here I am leaving the ice cavern because now that we got that uh, levy stone, we're actually going to be getting our final piece of transportation, which uh, yeah, that will be enjoyable. Um, I'm sure, if any of you guys ever played a Final Fantasy game. You absolutely know what I'm about to get, and I'm fairly surprised that I did not run into. I didn't. How come I? That's weird. I didn't run into any uh, battles there. Oh, never mind. Oops. And I switched the controls again, so uh, I, I replaced like A and B. Uh, I kind of reversed it, so yeah. So what we're gonna be doing is going back to the other docks where it said, "Oh, I mean, oops, that's not until later on." Well, go back to where Crescent Lake was, um, and yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. There we go. But what else was I gonna say? Um, yeah, I hope this microphone's okay. I mean, I hope you guys can uh, stand it because this is what I got at the moment. Because you know, my other laptop blew up. So yeah, there you go. Ooh, look, a troll ran away. I believe I explained. Well. I believe I explained it in my lost video. Um, once you're so strong, enemies will start running away from you because they're like, oh, fuck this shit, and they leave, you know? Oh, excuse my language, but it's pretty much what they would be saying because it's like, I ain't messing with that guy, uh uh. And they leave. So a big monster like a troll ran away, ran away from us, so. Yeah, that's how strong I am. So, what we're gonna do is actually, when you get to the Crescent Lake area, head south. Through that little river, you're gonna see a whole patch of uh, desert land right here. You may be wondering, what the hell's there? Well, you walk up, and there's a little cutscene from the Ryukyun Desert. I know I fucked that up, but. Yeah, but yeah, you, you presented the Levy Stone, and look! Just look what happens! The desert parts open like the Red Sea back in Moses' time. And what shall appear from the bottom? Oh yeah, you know what that is. Oh yeah, guys. It wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without an airship. Although I'm pretty sure there are a couple games, a couple Final Fantasy games that do not have airships in it. Oh well. Mm. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, that's right, guys. We finally got ourselves an airship. Do you know what this means? We can travel a lot quicker, and we don't have to get into any fights traveling anywhere. But there are restrictions to it, and let me explain. So you, you just go up there and press A, and now it's like, oh wow, look at this, I can fly! But the thing is, you can only land in certain areas. I, you can, I believe you can land in desert areas. You can land in patches like this, like green patches of grass, kind of like this. Um, however, you cannot park in the mountains because that's just not physically possible. I doubt you can park in the rivers. 
uh, and you can't park in these forest areas. So whatever you have to go, you have to make sure that it's somewhere, like some type of land like this. Alright guys, so now that we actually have the, um, the airship, um, we're actually going to be going to a, a town that is only ac uh, accessible through the airship. Uh, so, any, here's one thing, I never, I knew that this game had a, uh, a world map, but I just never figured out the, I never really bothered to look up, look up the controls on how to access it. It's B and select, so if you guys actually want to um, find out how to get the world map, you just hold B and you press select, and there you go. So this will really help me in terms of trying to tell you guys where you have to go. Um, I'm pretty sure, let me get my mouse in here, this is where we are, I'm assuming. I don't know what the hell this blinking light is, I'm assuming that, that might be where we have to go. Um, but... Where I'm going to be going is the North Eastern Continent, which is right here. Yeah, this is what you want to aim for, guys. So if you ever get lost, just press B and select, and yeah, there you go. So we're going to head up to where the mouse pointer is right there. So let's go ahead and get there. Um, probably be easier if I just go down, because there's no barriers or anything. So yeah, here we go. As you can see, this, flat, this place is only accessible through the airship, so these guys are kind of like... Um, Outsiders, I guess. I mean, I kind of feel bad for them. But, either way, just set down your ship, because this is one of the best places in the game. Gaia! Oh yeah, guys. Um, Gaia's a really nice, peaceful town, and... Well, they have the best magic of all. And you'll see what I mean. Oh yeah. Level 7 that we can't even get yet. Cure a jaw. Oh look, fully restores one ally's HP. That's amazing. And Daija, which I never even get. But as you can see, I can't even select. I selected, but hey, my uh, white mage isn't like raising their hands, like, oh, I can take it, you know? Because I never explained um, what's. Uh, you see on the right hand side, it says red mage, white mage, all that. Red wizard, white wizard. Um, well, we can't. We're, the stage we're at right now, we can't even get this magic. So. That means we have to upgrade to a new class in order to use this magic. But don't worry, guys, because that's what I'm going to be doing next. Um, so yeah, so we can't get these just yet, but rest assured, we will as soon uh, as soon as I upgrade my characters. But I believe I can go ahead and get a Blazaga. Yeah. So there you go. And break. I can't even get it, but Petrifies one phone. Eh. Not good. So what else do we got here? Ooh, okay. We got uh, new weapons and items here. So the only thing you can get here is a cat claw. It's like, what? Really? That, look, you, it doesn't even say, like, who's, who's it for? Once again, this is something you have to get only for, um... Uh... For upgrade character, but I, I just get it right now. So, it's, only, it's actually a weapon for your black mage, but he can't equip it just yet. So it's here in items, we got, ooh, three ruby arm, uh, armlets, and four protect rings. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, a lot of, a lot of armor is going to be going down Jane right now. I would recommend getting these protect rings because they guard against instant death. There are characters out there, like, who cast, like, Earthquake and whatnot, that, you know what, it could cast death. I mean, I remember... When I had to play this game over again, I remember I kept getting killed by someone. It was actually my monk who kept dying on an instant death kill. I'm like, what the hell? This never used to happen to me. So it turns out that getting these protect rings are pretty nice. So, so oh god. Um, three of these. Well, I want to say, nah, never mind. I think you could find one, but what can I do? Just screw it. I have enough money. And four protect rings. Jeez, that's a lot of money. Okay, optimal, optimal, move, optimal, and optimal. There you go. And I usually, right, what I've been doing now is actually selling some stuff uh, that I don't need, although it's been a while since I've actually sold anything. So, yeah, um, just to clean out my menu a little bit. So, uh, well, that's that so far. 
And this town actually doesn't only have one white and magic shop, they also have two. So, these are the level 8 uh, magic, which you really, really want. This is holy, beautiful spell for the white mage, probably the most awesome offensive spell for the white mage. So we're definitely going to be wanting that, and Null All, which is amazing because it does all the Null effects in one go, however, it doesn't target everybody, so you got to watch out for that. The spell, um, I'm not really sure if that would work so well. I don't know. I don't think it would work that well, but I'll see if I, I'll get it later on. And for the Black Mage, you'd be surprised, uh, nothing's really as great here. Stop, eh. Warp and kill are pretty much the same thing. They're kind of like instant death kills. They're, I, I've never seen them hit. I'm sure they do somewhere, but I feel like they're a waste. Uh, so, um... You know what? I didn't actually have to go here right now, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what this town had to offer. So we're going to be coming back here once we actually upgrade our characters. But for now, we're actually going to head west to where we are at the moment. Uh, and we're going to be hitting... Um, should be coming up here. See this little area right here? This is where we're going to be heading to. Um, right now, and actually upgrade our characters. However, you can notice that I can't park my damn boat anywhere! Or my airship anywhere! Um, I don't know if you, sometimes you might be able, I don't know if you can get lucky and land it somewhere, but I've never seen it done like that. So, what you have to do pretty much is, um, the only place I found it pretty nice to uh, land was, uh, oh crap, that's way too far ahead, was all the way in this little patch right here. So that means we have to walk around all that, come back around, big U-turn, head down, boom. So, I mean, yeah, it sucks doing that, but uh, what can I do? That's all I have, fast forward feature. Oh, crap. Yeah, there you go. How dare you interrupt me. Hey, these are new characters, I've never seen these before. I don't think I've ever seen these things before. Sweet. Well, you're gonna die, thanks. Oh, you put up no fight. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. See? Interesting things happen when you LP this game. Oh, boy. Get away. There you go. No threat whatsoever. I probably overleveled way too much. And I know you... Ah, I never saw these things before, either! These are upgraded versions of things I saw before. Ah! So much surprises. They barely gave me any money, though. What the hell? Ooh, an Ewoks! Okay. Um, what the hell is I gonna say? So I, I know you guys might be complaining that um that what I did was kind of cheated or cheating how I like grinded so much because I have I have a uh, fast forward in my uh, possession. However, I don't think oh it's another new anime I haven't seen before. Uh, I don't think it's considered pretty uh, cheating because um, the way I look at it, it's not too hard. To, like, if you seriously just sat down for not even an hour and just went back and forth and killing that uh, evil eye, then um, you're gonna grind up just as much, you know. And like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take a long time out of your, a long time out of you to actually um, go ahead and grind. So I don't think it's cheating. And besides, I kind of grinded for the, pretty much the, the majority of the game. I don't think I'm ever gonna grind again. And even at the point I am at the moment, I don't think I'm super leveled or even like semi prepared to take on some of the harder enemies you're going to be facing later on. That's just me. I, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> Here's me. So actually, I want to make sure this is actually the right place. Yeah, there we go. It's the Citadel of Trials. So this area is where we're going to be pretty much, um,. Upgrading our characters. Uh, and I hope I didn't spoil anything for you guys there, but um, Yeah, we're actually gonna be getting our upgraded classes Which um, yeah, it's gonna be nice um, Well, we're actually not gonna be doing it in this area. We're actually gonna be getting an item which will let us upgrade our characters in another place um, So yeah, there we go 
Uh, but I'll be saving that until next time, guys. Uh, so yeah. Oh, jeez. I feel like I got a burp and everything. I don't know why. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, jeez. I don't know. I'm getting the hiccups and burps at the same time. That sucks. Okay. So, there you go. As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls for the Game Boy Advance. I'll see you guys later.